I am the flag of the United States of America. My name is Old Glory. I fly atop the world's tallest buildings. I stand watch in America's halls of justice. I fly majestically over great institutes of learning. I stand guard with the greatest military power in the world. Look up and see me. I stand for peace, honor, truth, and justice. I stand for freedom. I am confident. I am proud. When I am flown with my fellow banners, my head is a little higher, my colors a little truer. I bow to no one. I am recognized all over the world. I am worshipped. I am saluted. I am respected. I am revered. I am loved. And I am feared. I have fought in every battle of every war for more than 200 years. Gettysburg, Shiloh, Appomattox, San Juan Hill, the trenches of France, the Argonne Forest, Anzio, Rome, the beaches of Normandy, the deserts of Africa, the cane fields of the Philippines, the rice paddies and jungles of Guam, Okinawa, Japan, Korea, Vietnam, Guadalcanal, New Britain, Peleliu, and recently on the battlefields of Iraq and Afghanistan. I led my soldiers, sailors, airmen, and marines. I followed them. I watched over them. They loved me. I was on the small hill at Iwo Jima. I was dirty, battle-worn, and tired. But my marines cheered me, and I was proud. I have been soiled, burned, torn, and trampled on the streets of countries that I have helped set free. It does not hurt, for I am invincible. I have been soiled, burned, torn, and trampled on the streets of my country. But I shall overcome, for I am strong. I have slipped the bonds of Earth and stand watch over the uncharted new frontiers of space. From my vantage point on the moon, I have been a silent witness to all of America's finest hours. But my finest hour comes when I am torn into strips to be used for bandages for my wounded comrades on the field of battle when I fly at half-mast to honor my soldiers, and when I lie in the trembling arms of a grieving mother at the graveside of her fallen child. I am proud. My name is Old Glory. Dear God, long may I wave.